Hey everybody, I'm on my way to learn about Simplegon and optimizing 3D assets for different devices and scenarios. I'm here with uh, Koshi, the director of strategy for Simplegon, or the co-founder. We can say co-founder too, right? Yeah. So uh, Simplegon was a company that was acquired by Microsoft earlier in January. And you guys do a lot of 3D asset optimization. So maybe we should start with, can you tell us a bit more about Simplegon and why developers should know about Simplegon? Absolutely. So Simplegon is a, a solution for 3D optimization. Mm -hmm. And um, you can compare it to you know, optimizing any other form of media. Now that uh, 3D is becoming a thing that is used more than just for video games and movies, this problem uh, is a very important problem to solve. If you look at 3D, the way we look at 3D content is uh, in three buckets. You have 3D content that's captured with scan, uh, 3D content that's create by, created by engineers in CAD, and then uh, digitally created content that's created by artists for uh, games and movies. Mm -hmm. um, now, if you want to uh, use these uh, assets in multiple devices, uh, depending on the, how much the device can uh, do, you need to optimize them. That's right. Uh, especially for the uh, middle bucket, the CAD assets, because that is created by engineers for producing products for for and it's actually not made for the purposes of viewing on a hololens or on on a device uh, those assets need to be optimized a lot in order for them to work uh, they have so much devices. details and they've spent so much time and, and effort on it that, absolutely yeah. and so many parts they are they are made for for producing a product like a Try car so you need some way to optimize it yeah absolutely so how does uh, simplicon uh, do that how does it work so Simplegon is a mm, Azure-based cloud service. Mm -hmm. So uh, the first part is, you know, getting that content in. So Simplegon has a transcoder where we can read uh, data in. You, you have your usual file formats that we can read, but we're also adding CAD support. So there is a file format called OpenJT, for instance, that many CAD uh, companies rely on. You can just take that original content mm -hmm. from your CAD, drop it as a JT file, and Simplegon will transcode that into something that uh, then can be used in uh, real time. And then we do optimization. Uh, we do optimization on the geometry, on textures, on shaders, uh, and give you an asset that's suited to be utilized for a specific purpose or a specific device. So you specify, I want, this is my big asset, and I am gonna use this on five different devices. These are the use cases. Give me five different or 10 different uh, optimized models that I can use. Something like that. So now you have to do some plumbing yeah. now, and you know you have to tell Simplegon in advance that, okay, I'm gonna use it in HoloLens, so I need it to be optimized this much. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we will generate those automatic for you. Um, in the future, we hope that with the help of machine learning and uh, you know, just learning more use cases, Simplegon can be even more automatic. So that you, know, you drop your content here, you tell us that this content is going to be used for this purpose on this device, and then Simplegon will automatically take care of the rest. It won't uh, even have to know anything. In the no, it's, it's supposed to be a ninja in your, uh, in your pipeline that just takes care of business, right? So it's... Uh, how do developers actually tie this in into their pipeline? Is there plugins, yeah, so, API? So there are, there are APIs, and uh, you, you can tie them in uh, either into your uh, current workflow where you store your assets, uh, but it's rather simple. You know, you have your file format support, so we know that, okay, I can read in this file format, and I want simply going to fire up this recipe to do this, and then we'll optimize that and, and give you a result. Um, but yeah, there is some plumbing that needs to be done in order to get it. But, but the whole idea is to automate a process. Uh, so if you, for instance, are doing this for your everyday work, uh, you want to create a design review application for your car company. Uh, we want you to implement Simplicon as a part of an already existing pipeline. Uh, and when you do that, 
you know, you get the benefit of having ready to go, optimized, good looking 3D assets for all your needs. Every time an engineer updates mm -hmm. a content over here, Simplygon is working hard in the background, creating all variants necessary, mm -hmm. and then a designer or somebody else on the other end can just consume that. Kind of like content. continuous integration for 3D assets. You know, I check exactly. something in, immediately propagates and builds it and gives me all the assets I need. Exactly. That's actually really cool. Yep. Uh, it's been used right now by a lot of games, from what I've heard. Right? A lot of Absolutely. AAA games are using it. In Absolutely. So we, when we started this company you know, almost a decade ago, uh, Back in those days, the, the, the use case for video games was already there. They were mm -hmm. creating a lot of content, they wanted to create bigger games, and they were manually optimizing content. Uh, we introduced Simplygon, and I think that last year, 70 to 80% of uh, all AAA games were using our product to, to optimize their games. You had a lot of stuff that we can actually see, right? I would yeah, love some to stuff see you some can of see. the results that you guys were able to accomplish with Absolutely. Let's take a look. So, so let's look at some scenarios. This, this is a single scan 3D asset. The original data, uh, you know, it has 14 million triangles. And 14 million triangles. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I mean, every single detail is in there. But uh, also the file size, I mean, it's 1.2 gigabytes of data. <laughs> and the textures are also huge. You have s several 8K textures in here. So just this asset, when, it, when it's created, the original raw data mm -hmm. is, is uh, not usable in any mm -hmm. real time. And that's just one asset. Too. Yeah, exactly. So when we simply on, you know, we created a recipe, for instance, for VR mm -hmm. in this case. And uh, that recipe will then automatically create a new asset for you that has 14,000 triangles, just 100 megabytes in this case. And so 100K, 100 times? Less, Ex right? yeah, yeah, exactly something, like that. and then but but visually it looks very very similar, yeah. but and then we went even further and I think we created something for, uh, the the Hololens, uh, and for this we got it down to three thousand triangles almost and two point eight megabytes. So the original was almost two gigabytes, uh, and again automatically. The cool thing with with this is that once we've created this recipe for these assets mm -hmm. in Simplicon. Then you can batch process everything you have on our cloud, and you know yeah, here are all my assets. Create Hololens versions for mm -hmm. them, and we will just chunk them through. The, what you did before? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Another example would be uh, to go ahead and look at a, a, a smaller CAD asset. So mm -hmm. uh, again, this this engine is uh, three million mm -hmm. triangles. It's three hundred and fifty megabytes, so st uh, very large. We created this version for Hololens of it. We got it down to. 48,000 triangles mm -hmm. and uh, only 12 megabytes. Yeah, and also also very very few textures or in this case actually only one. But the cool thing here is that we've also maintained the original hierarchy of this asset so that now we, if an engineer or a designer wants to review this but is also interested in you know looking at the the uh, specific, parts. The specific yeah. parts they can just explore this and look at it and uh, we will maintain those hierarchies for you. Yeah, and then I mean, you could do, do a, a lot of things with this optimization. But uh, the cool thing is that when you get the pipeline right, this will literally save you so much time. Uh, and you can do, you know, you can ap apply this on all your assets for all your use cases in, in real time. And because it's in the cloud, you can scale it up as much as you need to, right? If you want to do this, exactly. like, throw as many GPUs on it as you want. You can do that. Uh, absolutely. So, so the way developers get access to this today is that Simplygon is already available on Azure Marketplace. You go in there and uh, you choose which level of uh, service you want, and then you fire up and, and you're off to go. And then you scale it on uh, yeah, your need, basically. Hey, everybody. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, make sure to reach out on our Twitter handle. And do visit the description page to find out more about how to get started with using Simplygon and optimizing 3D assets. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Next time we're in Sweden, we'll do another one. Yeah. <laughs>